the whipping grass stings her eyes. It's mainly the sound of her target which guides her. She's run herself to exhaustion. There's nothing to show for it. Even though she goes hungry, she still has milk for her youngsters, for now. stay here, they'll starve. After a short rest, she leads her family on a journey beyond the endless sea of grass. Cubs eagerly begin their adventure, but the fun doesn't last. After just a few kilometers, the adventure turns into an arduous trek. The exhausted Cubs, not used to drinking water, get to try something new. It's their first taste of what life on the savannah has in store for them. It won't always be this easy. Over the past month, the little family has roamed north. Only three cubs have made it this far. Two sisters and a brother. They can easily keep up with their mother now, though she has to hunt daily to satisfy their voracious appetites. suits her. 
Almost every second attempt scores a kill. Her cubs thrive. square kilometers in search of the best hunting grounds. Just shy of their first birthday, the three cubs have shed their baby fuzz, but not their inexperience. They don't know what to make of the rushing Mara River. Unless she has to, even their mother won't try to cross the fast flowing water. The family has reached the far north of the Serengeti. Soon, the youngsters will have to fend for themselves. To prepare them, their mother supervises their hunt. They still have a few things to learn. Especially about warthogs. Mainly, to beware their temper. The young cheetahs are also learning you should never underestimate your opponent. These two more experienced males patrol this territory and they know how to satisfy a craving for poultry. enjoy their little snack, they turn to other business. They're ready to confront the strange cheetah family that has wandered onto their turf.
and you often save money on Expedia by booking your flights and hotel together, which has helped my dream come true. If I never get to see it again, it's so oh. Thank you. 